And welcome today's video we're creating this look in this very long random all over the place ADHD strong video I wanted to start uploading get ready with me on Sunday evenings hopefully you guys enjoy this and I've got a lot of new products that I am testing out playing around with today and it's very chatty very chatty everything will be linked and listed down below if you guys are interested in anything i'm talking about so let's just go ahead because it's so long i'm not looking forward to editing it but i love you guys and i enjoy doing this get ready with me let's just go ahead and jump right in hey guys and let's go ahead and jump in i did use my little amazon fishy sucky tool thingy whatever you want to call it to plump these bad boys up look at them mm. and then i always go in with some sort of lip balm this one in particular is from c color cosmetics i love it because it's so cute and i go through these these are a couple bucks um i do have a coupon code hot mess 10 it's an affiliate code next what i want to go ahead and do is actually a couple things i am going to spritz my face down with the manica dar this is a hydrating face mist i have not primed my skin or anything like that just yet i figure i would just do an entire get ready with me for you guys and that's what i'm gonna do so let's spritz our face mm. it has a really nice like soft scent this was actually sent to me in my a I a beauty bundle box and I actually did like a full unboxing and try on and you guys the box is like a bi-monthly box I want to say it's like 30 some dollars but I really like this and the nice thing about AIA is it's always different and it's an influencer based type of box so I think it's pretty cool and in the box also this actually came in two subscription boxes this month this is the Manicadar lash serum and I've been using this a little over a week so I don't know yet if like my lashes have like grown or anything like that but this is the lash serum and again this was in the AIA beauty bundle but it was also in the Slay Glam box this like glam box is monthly and then the AIA is bi-monthly but um, this was in both boxes so I am using this right now before sorry house full of children um, but I'm I'm using this a little over a week now I guess and I want to see what it does like I'm hope hoping I could get like some length but we shall see so today's video is going to be a mishmash of affordable as well as some high-end products but I wanted to kind of sit down and you know just go through things some of it is new some was sent to me in PR and some of the things in here are things that I've had and just wanted to play around with let you guys know I'm still using them as always I am going to put a little bit of Tatcha this is the pearl and moonlight underneath my eyes a dabble do ya this I will link everything down below for you guys it will be magic links which are affiliate links but see like literally a dabble do ya but I just apply a little bit of this underneath just to help brighten my under eye if you guys saw my it was a weekend vlog but I uploaded it on a Monday over on my vlog channel hot miss mama vlogs if you're not following me you should but actually in that video my husband and I went out for the weekend we had to go um, get his computer fixed and whatnot and I was trying to go up to Trader Trader Joe's because it's it's a while away from us but um, anyways we tried to go and line was horrible it was long and obviously I wear masks out so I don't like to do like my face or anything so all I'll do and you'll see in that video all I had on was my Tatcha Pearl and then my brows and some mascara and that was it because you know mask life quarantine life corona whatever you want to call it so Anyways, moving on from there, I did want to talk about this with you guys. This is a Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I still use this. I still really like it. It's nice. It's lightweight. And it's a nice little primer. I wouldn't say it's like fills your pores or necessarily like gets rid of fine lines, but I like it. 
but it's a really good affordable primer moving on from there oh okay so i really wanted to talk to you guys about jarred cosmetics because starting i think it is july 9th they're having their big like christmas in july sale and i've told you guys for a while what i do is mix some of the BB illumination cream in with my Fersalate glass drops. You don't have to, but it it like thins it out a lot for you. I also put this stuff in my body lotion, put it on your legs, up on your shoulders, what have you. But anyways, what I was gonna tell you guys is starting I think it is July 9th, the sale at Gerard Cosmetics, 51% off of everything. Now my coupon code will not work. Um, my link is an affiliate. So if you, you want to help your girl out and get me a little commission, you can definitely do that by using my link. But I wanted to remind you guys, you guys know my obsession is the lip liners. I am obsessed. And yeah, I'm going to use that word, which you guys know I don't use very often. With the Sugar and Spice Lip Liner, it is my favorite. Share and Nude are two others that are in kind, you know, like the nude category as far as that goes. I have all three of them, but Sugar and Spice is my go-to. It matches so many. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little dash of Dorothy, which is like very, very bronzy gold. I don't know if my camera... We'll focus there you go so I take a little bit of that and then to lighten it up a smidgen I go in with a little bit of grace that will do you probably doesn't even show up and then I take this is like extra sin welcome to my get ready with me but I love to play in makeup you guys know that I take the Farsali liquid glass drops this was in one of our BoxyCharm premium boxes and I take like two to four drops in here i'm going to do three today gives you that nice moisture as they shown whatever you want to call it and i just mix them together and then i just apply that all over the face and i'll blend it out you got to trust the process friends trust the process it'll be good i promise so i'm just going to go ahead and with this one i'm so excited i'm going to just be all over the place welcome to my channel hopefully you stick around i'm so excited because i watch heather austin if you guys don't watch her you should because she is a cutie patootie i'm going to spritz my brush right now with the manica dart hydrating spray but she talks about bk beauty brushes all the time specifically i forget the number of it but it's a foundation brush that's good to like contour and all of that stuff and i have the artist couture brush that my husband got me a while back and i like it right now i just use this morphe y6 brush which is again it's fine but she's got me so excited over the bk beauty brushes i went ahead i placed an order i think it was like last friday i'm filming today's video it's tuesday june 30th and i told her i like messaged her and i was like girl i used your code i got two of the brushes and i'm so excited i hope they ship fast she's like they do ship fast y'all my order had it was either later that night or early the next day on Saturday. I already got notification that my brushes are on the way. And I'm so flippin' excited to try them out. Because one thing that we were talking about and one thing for sure is like, it's night and day on some brushes. You get a good brush and it's like, wow. Like, wow. It, it, can, it can be a huge game changer. So I am really excited to try them out. I've heard a lot of people talk about them. But um, she sold me when she was talking about the foundation brush and everything. I was like, okay, okay, girl, I got to try it. I am obsessed with, again, I don't use that word too often. So you know if I'm using the word, I truly mean it. This is the Daily Harvest, not sponsored, but hey, Daily Harvest. I wouldn't mind. This is a ginger turmeric uh, latte. Normally I drink it warm. If you follow me over on my other channel, you'll you'll see like me make it up and everything. But I tried it in as an iced latte today. So delicious. So delicious. Okay, so we are going to use this e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. This is in the shade 300 Sand. And I have to tell you guys, this is a $6 foundation and I really like it. Like, I really, really like it. I'm just going to put... A couple pumps on the back of my hand and what I do is I just kind of dot it around my face like so that was too much that was way too much but oh well it is what it is welcome to my get ready with me am I going anywhere no am I sticking around my house yeah am I gonna just look fabulous with my makeup on 
<laughs> yes. So again, just gonna go ahead, blend this out, but that's what I, I, my brain is all over the place. That's why I always worry about doing get ready with, get ready with me's because I'm just in a constant like chit chatter with myself and I'm like only my ADHD girls and boys out there are going to be able to keep up. And I always know the people, I'm going to spritz this guys, I always know the people that are not ADHD strong because they leave the nastiest comments in my comment section. I'm like, <laughs> I'm sorry your brain doesn't work as fast as mine, I don't know what to tell ya. Ooh, girl's got her sassy pants on today. So. I will tell you guys, um, I do have sunless tanner on. I have the tan lux on my face and I have the Isle of Paradise spray on. So this foundation does look a little light. I mean, let's just state the obvious. It's a little, it's a little light, but we're going to make it work. We got a lot of bronzers in here. I got the Ofra Samantha March bronzer in here i also have the charlotte tilbury in here and i do also have the new natasha denona palette the bronze palette i haven't decided yet what i'm gonna oh i did decide never mind i was gonna i couldn't remember what i was gonna put on my eyes but i do have a palette i actually have a dedicated video for the new natasha denona bronze palette out and you guys i love this palette I love this palette so much. We got Corona happening and then we got allergy season. It's not fair for us allergy sufferers. I don't appreciate it. And I am gonna go in with the new to me e.l.f. concealers. Now I told you guys I don't do first impressions when it comes to concealer and foundations. I used to do foundation Fridays when I first started my channel a couple, well, a few years ago. And I just felt like I couldn't give really good reviews because I was like, I like it the end <laughs> you know I just I don't know I'm just I don't articulate words all that well so if you're here for professionalism and fancy words you should probably leave because it's not gonna happen sis so I'm gonna use both of these concealers this one is medium peach and this is the elf hydrating camo concealer I really like this concealer and one thing that I have done I go in spurts where I'll put like a gob ton underneath my eyes but I'm just going to just not do that today I'm just gonna be you know whatever with it and I'm gonna put a little in the center and um, or center of my face and I am gonna go in with a little bit darker this is the tan neutral this is the 16 hour camo concealer this one, a lot of people say is pretty similar to the Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm just gonna kinda darken it. I don't really know what I'm doing. I, I definitely found myself playing and using more makeup than I normally would because I like can, I guess. Oh, finally the mailman took my packages. Good job. Anyways, I let that sit for a second, hold on. So my mailbox has this thing where the slightest little breeze makes my flag fall down. And I had, oh, oh, I got a package. Oh, I got a package. Dude, you're gonna have to give me my package. He, he, uh, I can't go outside looking like this. But if he tries to zoom off, I will. Is he getting out? Oh, another trucker. Oh, okay, okay. It's false alarm, false alarm. He's coming to my door. I was gonna run out. I was gonna run out looking like this. Okay. I don't know what the baggage is. I'm hoping maybe it's the new Charlotte Tilbury. What did I tell you guys? If you come here for professionalism, <laughs> you're not gonna get it. That scared me so hard. Oh my gosh. I thought he was gonna leave with my package and tell me it couldn't be delivered and I was gonna chase him down. Because what I started to tell y'all is he does it good good mailman i appreciate all of our delivery services let me just say that i know that right now with the pandemic and everything and just on the regular like i'm a chick that only likes to buy things online and so yeah i mean i mean i keep them in business let's put it that way ups usps fedex dhl what else is there i think i pretty much covered it but anyways 
So my flag likes to fall down. I don't know why, it's really annoying. Like right now I've got it like rigged up with a piece of mulch to make sure it stayed up because yesterday I had my packages in the mail and he didn't take them and I didn't catch it in time because obviously I'm a crazy person who stalks my mailman and I went out to check my mail and my packages were there that I wanted shipped out and I was so mad. So I get it. I mean, they're busy. They can't check everything. They probably are like, oh, she was lazy. She didn't come out and get her packages from yesterday. I totally understand because like I have been able to do that sometimes. Just taking my sponge. So yeah, I was like, I'm going to make sure that this flag stays up today and he takes it away because I mean, I need them shipped. You know what I mean? So Anyways, he took them. It's good. But he scared me because I didn't think he was going to drop off my package. Because I have had it before where they're like, package wasn't delivered because of whatever reason. I'm like, you. I watched you. You did not get out of your vehicle. So, welcome to my crazy life. I wonder if that was a VK Beauty Brush. My brain is on overdrive right now. I'm still going to hear about it in the comment section. Just be kind. This is a judgment, drama, and stress-free zone. Some comments sometimes are like so unnecessary. It was so funny. I was watching. Who was I watching? I don't remember. So she was saying like, I don't need to know that you're unsubscribing from my channel. Like, I don't need to know that. Like, I don't need to know. And I'm like, girl, I'm right there with you. Like, why? why like i've literally had people like you were so hard to keep up with because of your adhd like i had to unsubscribe and i'm like okay bye like i don't know what to tell you i i i, I it's i'm not a fan of it but it's who i am so there's that actually i shouldn't say that i kind of am a fan of it just not on the days i'm trying to multitask things and get things done because then it's like bouncing around forgetting to like start the dryer after I put things from the washer to the dryer and they're still wet and then I forget to hit start. That's really annoying. I don't like when I do that. If you guys are still here, can I get a thumbs up? I would greatly appreciate it because editing, future editing Rhonda is not looking forward to editing this. Okay, let's move along. The e.l.f. Sheer Under Eye Powder, you guys. This is like $3, and again, this is another thing that when I first started my channel, I was obsessed with it because it literally like helps to blur your under eyes, okay? So, and it's $3. So, so I wanna make sure I've gotten everything from under here, pressed in, and then you can take your beauty sponge, you can take a little brush, whatever, and just press that right in, like so. And you guys, it just helps the under eye so much when it comes to creasing. I absolutely love it. And like I said, it's three, three dollars. I think it just comes down to, I used to love it. I used it all the time. And then I got into reviewing and trying new products. And then I start to push things back and forget. And then I see it and I'm like, girl, you used to love that. So I am gonna just go back in with a little bit of a brush and pat it underneath there as well. I definitely have to set my under eye because I will crease because I'm 42 years old. And you know, that's just the way it goes. All right, so I'm not gonna set the rest of my face just yet because I have other things that I wanna play with. First of all, I need to get, I love to use a cream contour or bronzer. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and jump into my Natasha Denona Sculpting Glow. This is the palette that is 02 palette. And I'm just gonna go in with my Real Techniques stippling brush and just give a little bit of like cheekbones to my rounded face, my quarantine face, a little like a soap. Okay, so, and then I like to set my face and my go-to setting powder has been, I think because it's really lightweight and it helps to really blur my pores, is the Becca Hydra Mist. I love this stuff. Beautylish had like two for the price of one uh, around Memorial Day and mm, I jumped on that and have backup because I love this stuff so much. Even after it loses that cool mist feeling, it's still really, really nice. And I just go ahead and apply it all over my face. I'm just using a Juno & Co. sponge. It's not damp. It's just a dry one. Okay, so then from there, I do want to add, 
you can do this whether you've already set your face or not this is the wonder beauty on the glow blush and illuminator i love this they actually sent this over to me you can do it both ways i've applied it straight to my cheek like just kind of dabbing it like so and then i just go in with a luxie this is the luxie 504 large angled brush just kind of do it like this and then tap it right onto my cheeks like a so Oh, just like so my camera I've been talking so much 23 minutes guys hopefully um I don't make this too insanely long but probably will I just like the blush everywhere and this is the kind of blush that kind of can give you like that sun-kissed glow but do you see how pretty and radiant that is I mean Wonder Beauty I feel like is definitely known for like the natural glow from within kind of look it's so pretty and then I'm going to use a little bit of the other side, which again is the highlight. Let me swatch this for you guys. Isn't that such a pretty, such a pretty shade. It's really, it's really nice and it blends out like you guys saw really easy. And then here's the highlighter side. And again, really pretty. Kind of reminds me of the Glotion shade. If you guys like that shade, that's with the Glotion. It's, it's kind of like a neutral shade. So what I do with this one is I just kind of pack it on with my finger and I'm sure I'm going to go in with some other product but I definitely really like this. I've used this a couple times already and like I said I'll link it down below. So I also like I said I picked up a while back the Samantha March Ofra collab set and I got it on sale. If it's still on sale or if I can find a code a discount code for you guys I will definitely link that below. Let me know if you guys pick that up because what I do is when I find really good deals that I want to share with you guys I put it over on our YouTube community page. Let me know if you guys were able to get your hands on this this is really pretty I think this blush would actually look really nice as well um, so I think I'm gonna use that as well as this bronzer hmm I've got so many bronzers to use should I do one side and one side I am gonna just go in real quick and set this down I mean it's not like insanely tacky at all but I just want to make sure that if I put a powder blush on top I don't end up or a bronzer on top I don't end up um, blotching it out whatever you want to call it this is just the in natural beige Milani conceal and perfect powder and I am gonna just kind of go right over top of my cheeks and up I have a lot of steps guys do I have quicker steps I do but I also like to sit and play and just pack on a bunch of different stuff. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. This is in the shade 2. So let me put it up against this Ofra. So I feel like they're similar but definitely a little bit different as far as the undertones. Plus this one has a little bit of sheer to it. So I'm going to just go ahead and put on both because why not, you know? So I do have a brush here. Some of you guys have asked me about the Copycat Beauty brushes. This is the Paris Tools GT01 brush and I really like to use, as you can see I haven't cleaned it, this brush with my Charlotte Tilbury powder so or bronzer. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of that on there. I like to stamp and pack. And then I am going to just switch my brushes over to a little bit smaller of a brush. This is the Ruffer 05. Yes, I know I need to clean my brush. Whatever. This is the Ofer by Smith March Bronzer Duo in the shade River. And because it has the, like you mix them together and it has a little bit of that like shimmer slash radiance, that's what I wanted to use this one for. So tap that on. Ooh. gives like a nice little bit of a sheen. I don't know if my camera picks it up, but do you guys see? So I do want to go ahead and use some of her blush as well. This is the Chick Lit Blush. Isn't that pretty? And I'm just going to put a little bit right through here. And again, it's kind of got two sides to it. And I'm going to just kind of mix both sides. I like blush. I feel like blush like wakes you up. I think I'm going to use some of this Natasha Denona Bronze Cheek Glow as my highlight. Ooh. I've only like swatched it. I haven't like gone crazy with it. 
I'm just gonna put both of these right on my cheeks like so because why not you know we're playing oh that's so nice I like that shade I didn't think I would okay I want to use I'm gonna mix these two bottom shades too welcome to the longest video See, I really like these shades of the highlighter because it's summertime and I definitely get a different type of undertone to me. So if I use like what I use in the winter time as far as my highlighters go, it, it looks like stripey, you know what I mean? So going in with these highlighters, I think are definitely work better for my skin. What I'm doing, but I'm having fun, and that's all that matters. Yeah. My other go-to highlighter, I was gonna use this, but I, like I said, have the bronze cheek palette. This is by Ofra Cosmetics, and I got this in an Ipsy, and I absolutely love this. This is in the shade Soho. Let me swatch it for you guys, because again, this is like one of those highlighters that have like that warm bronze to it. Come on, camera, do your job right through here I don't know if it's showing up but it looks great on my skin as far as when I have a tan or I'm using my sunless tanner I am gonna moisturize my lips again with another Wonder Beauty product this is the double date lip, lip and chit lip and cheek duo and again they sent this over but I really love using this balm I like using the color shade too but I just want to add a little bit of moisturizer because I think I'm going to try the Ofra Story lips. Oh, I don't know. It's so dark. It's so dark. I don't know. I don't know. I may chicken out. We'll see. But I definitely wanted to use this in the shade Millie. And it's like a clear glittery gloss. That's really pretty. It reminds me of the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm. But I at least wanted to moisturize my, moisturize my lips a little bit more. So let me go ahead. I'm going to jump off real quick. I'm going to go get my packages because I'm so excited. i got to douse them down. And I'm going to also put my brows on. So I will be right back. I'm back in the brows are filled. Who is that? Yeah. I love Manny. It is what it is. Every time he comes back, he's like, the, I'm back in the brows are filled. I start like dancing with him. Anyways, guys, I ran outside and I grabbed my package. Unfortunately, it is not the Charlotte Tilbury. But... It is my goalie vitamins because I love those things. They're the apple cider vinegar. I talked about them in an empties video that should already be up. They're so delicious. They're so delicious. And again, shout out to Daily Harvest. This is so good. Got the brows on and I have not been able to do a video just yet for you guys on this copycat beauty. Uh, this is the palette that's the dupe for the ABH Riviera palette. I do have a 40% off coupon code for you guys. It's just, I think it's just hot mess. I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys. But I wanted to play around in this palette as well. I'm going to go ahead and put my, you guys guessed it, my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base, you guys. This is the bomb.com. You guys know that. And like I said, they have that sale. Don't buy it yet. Wait until July 9th. Wait until July 9th. 51% off of everything. So this is going to be the time that you get your sugar and spice lip liner. You get your buttercup and your kimchi doll lipsticks and you get your BB cream and you get, yes, I'm telling you guys, this is the time to stock up Christmas in July. Thank you, Jen, for doing that because I love it. So I'm going to show you guys the way I apply it. I just take a flat shader brush. This is the Bodyography Pro, just whatever brush you're comfortable with. And I just apply it right on if you guys see i have slightly hooded eyes so what you're seeing right now in the crease of my eyes is just my touch of pearl so no big thing but a chicken wing we're just gonna go ahead blend that out and if you do um any type of carving out your brows or what have you this works well for that um i don't have a strong brow game but i like to act like i do so i just go ahead and i take whatever's left and i do apply it underneath my eye like so couple reasons it's going to help with your eyeshadow to adhere to it if you put eyeshadow underneath and it's also going to help if you have any fine lines wrinkles or crinkles 
the multi-purpose product and you guys know I love that and it, you can also use this on your face face primer I don't have any issues with it clogging my pores I have large pores in the center and off to the side and when they get kind of like that inflamed look I do like to go and I'm like gonna try and like go out and look nice or what have you then I just apply that right there and it really helps to hide those large pores okay so this is an extra step you don't have to do but I like to do I like to take the warmth of my finger and just kind of press it in like so underneath all of that and then I'll go in with my damp beauty blender or beauty sponge from AOA shop miss a just have any tap any extra dab it off okay so let's go ahead and jump in to the copycat beauty palette like I said 40% off for this palette and I want to say it's going to be like in the seven dollar range hold on daily harvest moment so let's swatch a couple of these shades. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Ooh, old saying. Wasn't expecting that. Look at those. That's really pretty. Oh, that's like a really pretty like peachy, peachy shade. I actually, just from swatching, I like the way they feel already. Um, I did upload a video like a makeup recap earlier in the week and I must not I, I don't think I explained it well but the catch me outside girl no longer affiliated with copycat beauty she gone she gone she gone so you don't have to worry you're not supporting her if you do pick up any of the copycat beauty products they when I asked because that was a concern of mine I just did not want to back that up and why did I start singing in my head okay anyways um but that was something that I was a little like concerned with and all of that as a mom and I asked them and they said no they no longer have a contract with her the contract is up they're doing a lot of rebranding or all rebranding all reformulating and I'm like thank you thank you because as you guys know I'm gonna just go in with the shade if you guys have been with me you know that I was allergic to their first formula I could not use their formula before I broke out really bad it was not a good situation but since they've reformulated I don't have any issues whatsoever with their new formula so if you are looking for an affordable brand I would definitely suggest checking them out let's go into this shade and apply that more on my lid and up to the crease. So I am gonna go in with this mustard shade right here. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so now you guys can see a little bit better what I'm doing. So I think I wanna jump in to, I think that's why I never picked up the Riviera palette is because it's, kind of an outside my comfort zone kind of palette the pe the colors are really pretty but i feel like i really have to like you know so i think i'm gonna just go in with this shade right here it's like a pretty mauve color kind of like muted mauve and i'm just going to apply it a little bit lower you know what i gotta switch it up because i feel like i actually just did a look like this in my slave lamb box video so hold on dab down both eyes let's go in with something different we're gonna just go in with a chocolate brown we're gonna keep it simple just gonna pop it right here oh you know what i feel like let's add a little bit of the purple so i'm just going to switch my brush because i don't think that's the right brush for this yeah there we go I need a more dense brush so I'm gonna just kind of pack that on like so and then I am gonna just jump into this purple just a little bit and apply it right over top like so then just kind of mixing both of them together and then like so so it's kind of creating its own little color now I'm going to just jump into, let's mix this shade and this shade to kind of calm down this line. Kind of taking away how dark it was because I don't want too dark of a look. Okay, so I do want to go into some of the shimmers. Let's just go ahead and go into this. Ooh, that feels nice. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm just going to apply it with my finger. 
because I feel like I always get the best payoff with shimmers that way. And then I do kind of want to go into this shade because this is pretty. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Kind of reminds me of that Carly Bible shade in her palette. I'm just going to pop that in the center. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a pencil brush and go into this peachy shade and plop that underneath the eye. So from there, I'm going to just go ahead while I got you guys on camera and do my lips. Of course, I'm going to use my good old trusty Sugar and Spice by Gerard Cosmetics. And I'm going to overline my lips with this. Okay, because of the eye look, I don't know if I should... Let's just do it. We only live once, right? YOLO. So we're going to go in with the Ofer Cosmetics. This is, again, the shade story with the Samantha March collection. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is comfortable in Hello Teefers. I'm gonna use this, but I don't wanna use the doe foot. I'm just gonna plop it on the back of my hand because that's such a dark shade. It's obviously gonna mess up the doe foot. So I'm just gonna dab it on my finger. Mmm, okay. Wow, Samantha. I was not expecting that. I like this. Mmm, okay. I like it. Um, I'm not going to show you guys apply this on camera, but I am going to show you guys what I'm going to use. I'm going to go with my Benefit Highbrow and my Waterline on my tight line. I'm just going to go in with my Urban Decay 24-7. This is in the shade 0. I will have both of these linked down below for you guys, but I know it freaks out some people when I like in my eyeball with this. So hold please. Okay, so as far as mascara goes, I am going to use my little cocktail of different stuff. Um, probably nobody uses this much mascara, but I do. So we're going to start off with priming, and I'm going to use the Blink Black Primer. This was in a boxy charm a couple months ago. So I'm going to go ahead, prime my lashes. Next, while they're still wet, I like to go in with my Kevin Aquan. This is the Expert Mascara, and again, this was in a boxy charm. I think it was at a premium a couple months ago. And then last but not least, I love going in with my Essence Lash Princess. This is just, oh, I love, I think it's the wand that gets me. And again, I use everything, or like apply everything while the last step is still damp. I don't let it completely dry. But I like, I always tell you guys, I feel like I don't let it dry because I don't like that feeling of applying. It's, I think it's a sensory thing for me. You guys know I'm like that with certain things. I don't like the feel of dry lashes scraping up against another mascara wand. So everything, when I apply it, it's still damp because of that. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and finish the look off with our Hourglass Soft Focus Setting Spray. And I got lift on my teeth. Okay, guys, so this is the finished completed look. And I love it. I love everything. So let's quickly recap. Huge surprise of this whole get ready with me is the Ofer Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. Now I already knew I loved the formula, but the shade of the formula. I think Samantha did a great job going with the shade Story. I think it's perfect. It's pretty. And like I said, it took me outside my comfort zone, but I'm actually living for it. I really like it. Paired with the Gerard Cosmetics Sugar and Spice Liner. Perfect. I told you guys that liner goes with everything. The Millie, this little lip gloss here, I like this, but I feel like I need to put it maybe with a lighter shade so I can really like get the glistening. But again, comfortable formula, really enjoyed that. The Copycat Beauty dupe for the Riviera palette. I like this, I, you guys know I like their formula. I definitely don't have an issue with longevity or anything like that. So I feel like if you're on the fence about Copycat Beauty eyeshadow palettes, go for it. I mean, they're very inexpensive and my, my coupon code is an affiliate code, just letting you guys know on that. As far as the Ofra Cosmetics, the bronzer and the blush, again, I love Ofra and I think that Samantha did a great job with the shades that she picked. I like that in this bronzer, you've got like that radiant to it but it's not too radiant but it's not like completely matte it's just a perfect sheen to the bronze so really like that and I took it down my neck and everything and you guys saw that the foundation was a little too light and of course we bronzed everything up and it turned out beautifully as far as her chiclet blush 
I think it's really pretty. And again, it's that two-sided blush that uh, you could use either side, but mixing it together is like that perfect rosy mauve. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So if you're on the fence about picking up the whole kit, the collection, I would definitely do it, especially if I can find you guys a really good coupon code. Definitely, definitely add these to your collection. I didn't choose to use the highlighter as beautiful as it is. I just was a little worried that it would be a little too stark on my, see, you guys see that? On my complexion right now, but I think this is gonna be a great highlighter for me come winter time or fall, just because I'm not gonna have the sunless tanner on. Oh, this is a long video. I had to restart it again. Moving on to the concealers from e.l.f., you guys. I definitely recommend getting your hands on this. I will tell you guys, I feel like when it comes to setting my under eye with these concealers, I have used other powders. And although that they, they do work, the best mix are these two together. So either one of these concealers using the sheer under eye powder, I think is gonna be your best bet. I love using the Jouer Cosmetics, the Charlotte Tilbury. I even like the Becca under eye, but as far as it's almost like the powder is too sheer to use with these and I notice a lot of creasing. However, if I use this powder by e.l.f. with the e.l.f. concealer, perfect all day long. I don't get the creasing or anything like this. So I say definitely if you guys are on the fence, definitely make sure to use this and you pick up the concealer. Definitely make sure to pick up this little $3 powder to go with it. It'll last you a while and again it's $3 and I think it's definitely worth picking up and using together. I feel like they've definitely paired well. And two, I've also tried the Pat McGrath powder and I always end up coming back and using this little under eye powder with these concealers and getting the best payoff. So, and you guys know I love my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. Don't forget July 9th, huge Christmas in July sale. Let's see, what else did I, ooh, this. This is beautiful. It's Natasha Denona. I love Natasha Denona. And I actually did get to use all four of these. I'm thinking if you guys want a more in-depth review on this palette, definitely let me know down below. I can totally do that for you guys. But you guys know me, I love, 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 like look at that iridescent. That is just so pretty. That's gonna be gorgeous on the eye and her corner. Oh my gosh, Bravo Highlight. I'll be coming back. Somebody's gonna wanna see it, right? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today, but anyways, guys, I definitely love this, and I justified it because Sephora offers 500 points, you get $10 off, so that's what I did. So I have to say I absolutely love the bronze palette. I was going to use it today, and then I thought, oh, I haven't used the copycat one. You guys know, like I said, I did a full dedicated video on this. I love this palette, and I think that if you're on the fence, Jen, then don't pick it up full price. Wait until Sephora has their sale coming up. They do it in the fall. But I, it's horrible how I can justify things. I don't want to pay full price. I want that coupon code or that discount in some way. And as soon as you give me that discount code or money off, I'm like, sold. I'll take it. Give me five every color. I know it's horrible. It's horrible, but that's how I live my life. So <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's move on to our Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Now I actually picked up shades two and three, and I do notice myself using two a lot. And I feel like the shade, this was in the shade tan. This works well too. It's definitely darker. You, you guys can see the difference here. You can see there's kind of a big difference there. So what I like to do sometimes is just kind of apply this as almost like a contour and then bronze up my face. Now, do you need both of them? No. Am I ridiculous? Absolutely. Welcome to my Gemini life. Anyways, moving on from here, you guys didn't see me use the cheek color, but like I told you guys, it's very pretty. It works really well, and you can actually use it on your lips, and it's a really pretty color. And what did I do with the duo? Here it is. Love this. I love this. And this is going to be one of the things very similar to like Tower 28, Fenty Beauty Cream, the Milk Makeup Cream Blushers, where you don't have to do like a whole look on your face like foundation concealer you go very very natural and apply this and it gives you like this really pretty glisten to the skin then of course did i already talk about this i don't think i did you guys 
this is amazing for six bucks like I do feel like maybe it does oxidize a bit on my face which I'm totally fine with because like I said the 300 sand is a little too light but this is a really good foundation like it's a really really good foundation it wears well throughout the day and I have to say like I know a lot of you guys were like hey you need to try this out it has medium coverage is what it says on here and I would have to agree with that I would also agree with the fact that it builds up very nicely and then of course I want to talk last but not least about my Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination. Oh, this isn't last but not least. I have one more thing. <laughs> but the BB Illumination Facial Cream, like I said, you guys saw, I mix it with my Farsali Liquid Glass Drops. You can apply it without doing that. I just like to add a little bit more hydration. I have normal combo skin, combo being a little bit more on the dry side. Sometimes my T-zone can get a little bit oily, but these pair very, very nicely with the Liquid Gold. Or you can put this in your moisture and just rub it all over your body and get this beautiful sheen I am talking very fast because I I made this video really long as far as you guys saw me use the good molecules primer this is really good and they did send this to me a while back and I was using it all the time and then of course the Tatcha Silk so canvas liquid stuff whatever it's called came in and I've been using that for a while but you guys this is like 14 bucks or something really good it's hydrating but it's not overly hydrating it's just it's just a nice product and then of course you guys know I talk about this all the time it's a broken record uh, the Mana Kadar spray I like using this prior to applying my makeup like you guys saw but I also like to you know use it on my beauty sponge and on my foundation brush just to give my skin that extra hydration and glow and everything I probably left some things out but I will have everything linked and listed down below for you guys if I didn't already tell you guys it will be majority of them if not all of them will be magic links they are commission based links I use those commissions to put right back into the channel so I can do videos like these for you guys I'm hoping to do get ready with me using new products hopefully uploading every Sunday which means now I'll be uploading six days a week if not six days a guaranteed Monday through Friday of five days a week at 12 15 and then I'm thinking on Sundays I'm gonna do like a 9 p.m. upload schedule let me know down below you guys thoughts hope you hopefully you enjoyed this crazy long random video um, but if you stuck around, thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know your favorite latte. <laughs> I will, maybe I'll try and remember to also link my referral link for Daily Harvest down below. It's not an affiliate link. And also, if you guys are going to be doing some shopping, um, definitely make sure you're using your Rakuten. Again, not sponsored, but your girl loves to save money. Don't you? Who doesn't? Okay, friends, I'm hopping off for now. Until next time, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Bye.